Okay. Oh, thank y'all. We had such a good thing going. Okay, well... Unfortunately, guys, I had to end the stream. I had to end the stream, unfortunately. Sadly. But, it is okay. Okay, guys. Looks like we are back in with recording. Um, apparently, I... Had to end the live stream. Sadly. But, um, things are going to be okay. Uh, so yeah, things should be fine. We're going to do the recording. Sorry about the lag, guys. You know, we will be streaming this tomorrow at 3 p.m. But we're going to record the rest of this. I'll upload part two and then I'll live stream part three. So we'll do part three earlier in the, in the daytime. This way you guys can actually see it. And all that kind of stuff. I don't know how much I'll go continue going through. But with all that being said, please check out part one. This is going to be the second part of a uh, of the live stream. Uh, I just had to end it. Connection problems and all that kind of stuff. So I do apologize. Uh, you know, if you guys haven't already, please make sure you get subscribe. Uh, we are working on getting better internet. I promise you guys. We definitely are uh, trying to get better internet. Uh, Cox internet just doesn't work with me at nighttime. And I don't know why. I did a three hour live stream earlier today. No problems. Flawless connection. Uh, it seems to be the problem is at nighttime. So I'm going to have to start doing my live streams in the earlier part of the day. Which I don't think will be a problem with some people. Uh, if not and you can't catch a live stream, don't feel bad. Just catch it whenever you can, even if you're going to watch the, the post uh, part of it. You know, I appreciate everybody that is subscribed to the channel. Uh, thank you guys so much for getting me up to how many subscribers I have. I think someone said I had like 70 something subscribers now. Like you guys got me up today just alone. Like I cannot. That's that's incredible. 74 subscribers like that's that's incredible. 118 views and. 130 views on my other one like guys that's incredible thank you guys so much i cannot believe it it's you know i you know thank you guys so much uh i'm so sorry that the stream had you know ended uh but i do appreciate every single one of you guys that is subscribed to the channel really personally do uh we're going to continue the playthrough it's not going to be live this is going to be the recorded part of it so uh, you know, guys, make sure you check this out, and then I'll be live streaming part three later. Um, so we were, our stream disconnected at the part with, um, you know, right when we were able to take out the Pokemon and check it. So she said right there, there's a Shinx. It has an aggressive disposition, because you already tell that, more or less. Though you might. I can never tell until I focus on a Pokemon carefully. Once aggressive Pokemon get irate, they'll knock aside any ball you throw at them. Alright. When you use the ZL button to focus on a Pokemon, you can see how easy it may be to catch. The more arrows you see pointing up above a Pokemon, the easier it will be to catch. An X icon will appear above you a Pokemon if it is, has picked a fight with you. Be warned, Pokemon displaying this icon cannot be caught unless you engage them in battle. Don't worry though, I'll teach you the trick to catching aggressive Pokemon. You've got to battle them. Well, once they're absorbed with battling, you can throw a Pokeball at them and try to catch them. By now, you've got several Pokemon of your own, don't you? Take one of their Pokeballs and throw it near a wild Pokemon you want to battle. I've got no doubt you'll hold your own in battle. It's easy to start a battle against a wild Pokemon. Simply throw a Pokeball that contains one of your Pokemon at it. Or one of your own Pokemon at it. If you can see that you currently have an item ready to throw, not a Pokemon, press the X button. It will allow you to toggle between your throw and items and your Pokemon team. Okay. Still getting the hang of it, but hey, I'm, you know, game looks really cool. Oh god, you see me. You really see me. There we go. Okay. I'll just watch looking around. 
I don't think Aqua is just going to do anything. Let's tackle it. Ooh. Let's try this again. Alright, now it's red. Shinx is looking around. Let's do items. No. Yes, we want items. Use. There we go. That's it, you caught Shinx. Awesome. You approached this Pokemon without a hint of fear and caught each one. You're like a gift this guy dropped to us. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. You're a much compliment for me. <laughs> With you at our side, I think the Survey Corps has a real chance of compiling a complete Pokedex as we've been ordered. Well, yes. I'm getting the Shiny Charm in this game and I'm going to use it to actually shiny hunt in this game as i've said in the live stream i will be shiny hunting in this game so you know you guys have nothing to worry about that um this is wonderful i'm still curious why on earth you came falling from the sky like you did i girl i want to know but for now let's tell the professor we're ready to head back like i'm kind of curious why i fell from the sky I said you'd pass the trial with flying colors, and it seems you went and did just that. Congratulations! You've taken your first step towards seeking out every Pokemon. This calls for a commemorative photograph. I'm so changing my hair color. In my hair. I'm so changing my hair. Because completely, I just need to change my hair. With skills like yours, I suppose this was a for foregone conclusion. Now then. We'd best report to Captain Selene. Uh, time to head back to the Jubilee Village. Head back. I kind of want to get a better looking outfit. <laughs> Let's be real. I, I really don't like that outfit. Then again, who, whoever, who, who does like the, uh, the actual outfit? In time, you'll be able to send Pokemon you've caught to live in the village pastures. You can bring up to six Pokemon with you into the field, in theory, though we've never had anyone skilled enough to do so. Oh, well, I'm gonna be the first. I'm now you two. Let's not dilly-dally. Definitely something my grandfather would say. Captain Selene awaits a report at headquarters. I bet Captain Selene will be very pleased. I'm still going under the presumption that, you know, we... That Team Galactic was good, but I also think something happened and it became bad. You know, I, I'm not quite sure what that something was. It could be greed, it could be power, it could be, you know, anything. It seems we won't have to leave you to die after all. Congratulations, you've passed your trial. You can hold on to that satchel. I must admit you've impressed me. I set a high hurdle to judge whether a stranger like yourself could be worthy, but you've cleared it. This is yours, an official uniform of the Survey Corps. I may not be using it because uh, I have Pokemon Shining Pearl and... Uh, if you have Shining Pearl or Brilliant Diamond save data, you get a Team Galactic outfit like you have to have like save data from it so you know i'm, I'm probably going to be using that but it, it varies you received a survey core uniform and a pair of survey core sandals get changed in the room you used last night then you were to report at once to the third floor present yourself in uniform to our commander this is your first official order from your captain okay gotcha Gotcha. Thank you for the order, Captain. All right. I wonder why my angle keeps going down like this. Like why it keeps on wanting to put me down here.
Yes. Ooh, color contacts. <laughs> okay. It's yellow green. Lavender ice. Now, I think we're going to go with yellow green. Like my green in real life, my green, my eyes in real life are green but um like that would probably be more my actual color you guys can't see at all oh my gosh let me see if i can like shrink or move my cam just for a smidge oh no that's that ain't helping me at all nope um, I thought I grouped those two things together. All right, there we go. So, oh, I just hit the desk. Okay. Color context is green. My green, my eyes are actually green in real life, but in Pokemon, uh, sword and shield. I used the yellow green because I liked the lighter color. So we're going to go with that. Finish changing. Yes. Let's go with this outfit. And this is what we look like now. All right, I'm going to enlarge that just a smidge and move it right there. Okay. All right, let's go. We changed into our actual uniform. All right. Look how well our Survey Corps uniform suits you. It almost as if the captain had it tailored just for you. I see you've changed. Regarding your accommodations, you may continue to use the room you slept in last night. You may wear this as well. Oh, a hat. Mm hmm. Thank you. I'm still recording. What? Yeah. I'm still recording. No, like, I, I, I know, like, um... Like, I know I'm not for live streaming. I'm recording it. I was planning on going longer, but it, it disconnected. So I said, I'm just going to have to go earlier. Some of them were saying, hey, sorry, we love you, but, you know, don't feel bad that, you, that you've got lagged or anything. It happens to all of us. You know, they were being nice. They were understanding. You know, thank you guys to thank you to everybody who's going to watch this uh, part two. I'm going to upload. Uh, thank you all so much. You know for all the kind messages and the understanding um we definitely will um be working on it and again i will live stream earlier in the day because it seems to be the best thing for the you know be able to run better all right now present yourself to the commander all right let's go upstairs you said the third floor right yes you did you said third floor This is the commander, apparently. Commander... What now? I've been waiting for you. Hey. Um. Kamado. I am Kamado. Commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. So you are Techno. Yep. Hmm. 
I've been briefed on your situation, including how you fell from the rift in the sky. Now, let's see what you're made of. Face me in combat. Should I try to throw him or charge at him? Throwing him did not suffice. <laughs> okay, you got some fight in you. Your sumo needs work, but I do see some potential. I full on thought he said, let's battle. I thought he said, let's throw the Pokemon out. <laughs> like, I thought that's all he was going to mean. Don't expect a warm welcome from everyone. Naturally, some will be slow to trust an outsider who literally fell out of the blue. There are superstitions among us might see your arrival as a portent of disaster. But you passed the trial that was put to you. No matter how odd you may seem, you're a part of Jubilife Village now. Dedicate yourself to the work of the Galaxy Expedition Team and complete the Pokédex. But I warn you, Pokémon are terrifying creatures. Keep your wits about as you and keep your wits about you as you work. And it's very weird. Like we have, you know, the game is centered around Pokémon being terrifying rather than, you know, peaceful creatures. They're centered around being like terrifying individuals. So it's weird. It's just, a, it's a little bit different. But again, this is ancient times before people were like really close to Pokemon, so. So the commander has also accepted you. But understand this, you begin as a no star recruiting or as a no star recruit among our ranks. In other words, you have no rank at all. Perform well as a member of the survey corps and you will move up through the ranks. Indeed, you see, the more you add to the Pokédex, the higher your rank will become. And working on the Pokédex will also, of course, bring you closer towards that goal of yours. To seek out every last Pokémon. Here, you will need this. You obtained a recipe for crafting Pokéballs. Okay. A recipe for crafting Pokéballs from scratch requires one Apricorn and one Tumblestone. Okay. And three thousand dollars as well. Sign on bonus. Let's get it. You will have to buy the necessary materials. Hey, a three thousand dollars sign on bonus. Let's go. We're fifteen. We got three grand. Akari, you are an expert at crafting yourself. Teach our new recruit what he needs to know. Of course, Captain Celine. Now, as the experienced craft person here, let me explain a bit to start with. Crafting means making items with your own two hands, obviously. You can buy an item you can buy some items at the general store, but self-sufficiency is worth striving for. You can even make our most valuable tools, Pokeballs. Think where we'd be if we couldn't do that. Let's head to the craft works. Ew! Well done, earning a place in our team. My name is Anth. I'm the local clothier. The pro uh, professor asked that I ready you a change of clothes, so here you go. I do hope they fit. We received the everyday kimono and a pair of everyday trousers. I hope you'll avail yourself of the village's humble shops. This way to the craft works. Awesome. Yeah, it's been a minute, so I'm gonna save real quick. Awesome. All right. You can use the workbench here at the craft works anytime you need to make an item in the village. Okay. And I'll supply what you need to make your first Pokeballs once you're ready to begin. All of my way is saying congratulations on joining us. 
to spend that money you got from the captain on clothes or whatever you think is best. Go up to the workbench and choose an item to craft, in this case, a Pokeball. You can use the workbenches in Jubilife Village and the base camps to craft Pokeballs and other items. Crafting items require a recipe and the necessary materials. Okay. Well, maybe she's warming up to us. I think I need to make like 20 of these. <laughs> awesome. Now that's some fine craftsmanship. Hard to believe that was your first time stepping up to the workbench. I'm feeling a lot of Breath of the Wild like vibes here. You'll recall, of course, that Pokemon possess the odd power to shrink themselves down. With the Pokeballs we craft, we can make use of that power to catch them. Also, that more Pokemon species can be duly recorded in a Pokedex. And on that note, here you are. Got my very own Pokedex. Which is a book. Since technology hasn't really been a thing, even though we have a cell phone. It does make sense that, you know... We kind of got sucked through time and space through the rift, the time and space rift. Kind of have a cell phone, and RCS kind of ported himself to it, blessed it, as some of you guys said in the live stream. Blessed it, I think. Volume for compiling the collected results of how uh, of much Pokemon research. Russell Levinson continually adds to it with each report made on new species. Okay. That's a lot. Indiquil. Wait. Oh, yeah. So. In order to shiny hunt. You want to get this level to 10. The research level to 10. It gives you the better, like. It gives you better chances of getting a shiny Pokemon. So. It's very much a possibility. We'll definitely be trying some. So, ooh, Togepi! I didn't even run into one! Oh, I battled one! Forgot! Bolo! He had a poke- he had a Togepi. Okay. I prepared this volume just for you. I hope it aids you well in your aim to seek out all the Pokémon there are in this grand region. We'll have to complete lots of research tasks to help the Professor fill out the Pokédex. The same goes for me, of course. I've also got Pokemon to research, and as a Survey Corps member. I'd be all too happy to explain more about the research task I could use your assistance with. Come join me at the Fieldlands camp whenever you're ready. Oh. We'll guide that right now. However, I'm going to go look around in the shops for a little bit. And kind of explore a little bit. Hey, excuse me, I couldn't help it over here. If you're going to the Fieldlands camp, would you mind taking care of a request for me? If you guys remember, requests are side quests. I'm standing guard, so I can't leave my post, but I'll be here at headquarters if you want to talk about it. People who have something to ask you will have a request icon displayed above them. If you fulfill their request, you may receive a nice reward. Let's go ahead and talk to him. There's a Pokemon called Wurmple. Have you heard of it? Yeah. Well, you see, I was having a chat with a Professor Laventon, and he told me that after a Pokemon gains a certain amount of experience through battling and the like, it will sometimes change its appearance and become stronger. He said it was a phenomenon called evolution. And the evolution screen looks really cool in this game. Some Pokemon can undergo evolution, which changes their appearance and stats. If one of your Pokemon has met the requirements to evolve, you'll be able to select the evolve option when viewing the Pokemon in your satchel. And so I decided I want to raise a Wurmple myself and have it evolve. You're part of the Survey Corps, aren't you? If you catch a Wurmple, could you let me have it? There'll be a reward in it for you, I promise. You just get me a Wurmple if you can. Sure. We'll keep that. We have a couple of requests here. You're that newcomer who fell from the sky. Are you heading outside the village? Of course you are. The Survey Corps must have 
to get out and about to compile that Pokedex book they're working on, right? Well, on your way, kindly do me a favor. Find out all about Starly. Pokemon certainly are terrifying creatures, but when I see a Starly, I feel simply whole. Not that I have the least desire to actually touch one, mind you. A bird! And feathers! They're cute! Please, let me see Starly's entry in that Pokedex the moment you've completed it. Okay. Well, I haven't completed it, but... Wow, there's a lot of, like, side missions we can do. Like, stuff over here and everything. There's, like, a side mission right there. This looks so cool, guys. Like, I'm not even kidding. The graphics look so amazing. And again, like... I know that's probably going to be subject to opinion because for whatever reason I saw an article where people were saying that this game looks like a PlayStation 2 game. I just want to show you guys this does not look like a PlayStation 2 game like at all. Like I I don't know what a PlayStation 2, you know, what HD PlayStation 2 people were playing back in the day. But this looks a lot better. Than a PlayStation 2 game. <laughs> uh, it definitely has Breath of the Wild like, you know, graphics though. And I definitely think it, it, it enhances the game a bunch. Ooh, I wanna, you know, talk to you. I wanna talk to you. Special parcel has arrived with your name on it. You received a modern jacket, a modern pair of trousers, and a modern shoes. What a precious gift. Please take good care of such fine attire. I think that's the, um, the gift you get if you have save data of the, whatchamacallit, the, oh, what do you call it? BDSP. I think this is the one I go to. Nope, but can't. Nope, I can't. Okay. Which one is mine? How do I know which one's my bunk? I probably should have paid more attention. Oh, I just took a screenshot on accident. Uh, where's my bunker? I'm nowhere near it. Okay. My bunker is literally right over here. Yeah. Okay. I just want to go check to see if this is actually the... Um... Modern one. Yep. This is the modern day, uh... Jacket. Trousers. Choose. Yeah. Team Galactic. Team Galactic. That's definitely what that's uh, for. However, would you like to go with this outfit? The answer is no. I don't want to. Leave without changing. Okay. Yeah, no. I don't want to... I don't want to go with that outfit. I I just don't. So that is the other one. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Let's get all the side requests that we can. I know Shinx's ears had odd markings on the insides, but what were they? No use. I can't remember. This will keep me up all night. Hey, aren't you with the Survey Corps? If you catch a Shinx, could you show it to me? I've got to see one with my own eyes. Please, I can't remember for the life of me what those ears look like. It's driving me up the wall. Okay. I caught one. Alright, let's have a peek at the round ears. His ears 
have that yellow cross pattern on them, kind of like a star. Can't tell you what a relief this is. Felt like I had a bone stuck in my throat. Only the throat's my brain and the bone's a thought. Thanks for helping me get that bone out, though. That, that can be taken so wrong. So wrong. All right, let's let's just go. Let's just go over here. All right, we need to head over here. Ooh, nice loading screen. Righto, let's get to it then, shall we? In order to complete this Pokedex of ours, there are a great many research tasks I'll need your help to carry out, my boy. The did the blah. The details of these tasks can be found in the Pokedex for you to reference any time. Okay. Research tasks are tasks you need to carry out to complete the Pokedex. Each Pokemon species has a different number of variety of research tasks. Press the down button to open your Pokedex and then check what kinds of research tasks are available for the Pokemon you've registered. When you've focused on a wild Pokemon in the field using the ZL button, you can also instantly check the research tasks for that species by pressing the down button to open your Pokedex right to that page. Some Pokemon have some unusual research tasks, so be sure to check them out. Okay. You must catch and battle diverse Pokemon species and carry out plenty of research tasks. Do so and you'll gain research points and other rewards for your work. Okay. One last piece of advice. If you see a wild Pokemon's attack coming, you're away. Dodge like your life depends on it. Watch closely as I remember what I do. Oh, and remember what I do so you can do it later. That beautiful flowing bit of gymnastics is what we call a dodge. If you're light on your feet, you can dodge out of the way of wild Pokemon's attacks. That way, hopefully, you can avoid taking a beating and blacking out in the wilderness. The security core had to collect me when I got in the business end of some Shinx's Thundershock. Don't you worry, I've got lots of experience to draw on, and I'll teach you plenty. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. How do you dodge? Now, let me share some survey course window. Wisdom. Focus on the po- Oh, she's gonna show me. And then press the down button to open the Pokedex. You'll see what tasks you have for that Pokemon. Doof! You might have noticed that you have a research task to do with how many Bidoof you've caught. That's right, catching just one isn't enough. You need two, then four, then more and more. And when it's time to battle a Pokemon, remember the captain's switching wisdom. Give it a try now if you want. Okay. Remember caught one. You can catch like you can catch up to twenty five, but uh investigate the Bidoof that bother the village. Method unknown. Number of different forms you've obtained, one. There's two different forms. Number defeated. Number of heavy specimens you've caught. Okay, so number of heavy ones. Number you've evolved. Zero. Oh. I guess I should try to catch one, right?
Oh crap. Oh crap, I had a red X on it. No. Oh, I scared it off. Okay. We tried. <laughs> I think you got it, but as a reminder, don't forget to open your Pokedex when you're focused on a Pokemon to check your research tasks for it. Are you checking your task for the Starly next? Okay. One of your tasks is to catch Starly without being spotted, right? For that task, try catching them while hiding in la 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 while hiding in the small grass. I'll go wait for you up ahead. Catch some of the or try to finish up some of the research tasks. Or I think that one's already spotted me. Here we go. Hot two without being spotted. Medical leaf. Or medicinal leaf. Now let's see. Starly. And okay, we've caught three without being, you know, seen. Uh, number defeated. Number you've evolved. I haven't evolved it at all yet. Oh crap. There we go. There's some tiki torches over there. Okay. Around here you can find Pokemon called Buizel. It's an aggressive disposition. That means I'll try to hit it with or It'll try to hit you with this move, just like Shanks. And you'll need to battle it. Catch it. If you take too much damage within a short time, you'll be in danger of blacking out. You can take, you, or you can tell you're in danger when the edges of the screen turn red. Damage does go away over time. You won't regain, you won't begin to recover if you're still being targeted by a wild Pokemon. Oh, I didn't get to see that second page. Probably says avoid getting into too much conflict or something like that. Speaking of which, your research task for Weasel include seeing it use a certain move. To be precise, you have to see it use a move in battle. Right, some tasks require battling. Now, go on ahead and you'll take care of some of the Weasel's research tasks. And then come talk to me. Okay, so... 
One of them I gotta catch. I'm gonna try to... Bro, also water out. I kind of like how you have to initially, like you have to initialize the actual battle. Like you don't just run into one and then boom, you can go about doing it. Like, no. Yes. There we go. Weasel's caught. Awesome. Now let's see. Number you've evolved. None. Oh, that's not that. This is Weasel. Number caught. One. Number of large specimens you've caught. Uh, number defeated. So we'll have to defeat some. Times you've seen it use Aqua Jet. Okay. Okay. Let's try battling a couple of Weasel. Alright. And I love how they just use tumble, uh, they're able to get tumble stone. And they level up while they get you items, like that's, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Alright. This game is going to be fun. Let's go around over here. I think we have to fight. There we go. Let's fight some weasel. Let's try to actually defeat one, not really just catch it. Weasel defeated. Awesome. That's a bit doof. Uh, okay. Unsuspecting. It's a couple of Bidoof. There we go. Oh, we can actually swim. For a little bit. I drowned. Okay. Note to self, you can only swim for a little bit. Oh. 
You can actually throw him in the water. Oh, that's so cute. Like, you can actually throw him in the water. That's cute. Huh? 